So before we get started, I just wanted to cover some of the things that you should have experience with before attempting this course. Now, if you don't have all of these and you still want to try, that's fine because I've definitely done some courses in my day where I didn't meet all the prerequisites. But the definite one thing you're going to want to have is some object-oriented programming experience. Android makes heavy use of these concepts. So knowing what a class is, knowing what inheritance is, these are going to be vital to your success with Android. Now, you should also have some experience with Java. And I say some because I am not an expert at Java. I actually come from a Flash ActionScript background. But as long as you've had some experience with ECMAScript-based languages, you're going to be fine. And the more experience you have with Java is going to make your time even easier. So another thing that's going to be really helpful for you is experience with the Eclipse development environment. So all of the Android tools from Google are based in Eclipse. So again, if you have experience with Eclipse, you're going to have an easier time with this course. Now, another thing that's going to be helpful is just a knowledge of Android itself, whether you have an Android phone or you, you've seen your friend's phone, just to be knowledgeable about what's capable with the Android operating system. So again, with these basic prerequisites, you should be all set at attempting this course.